Hey, I'm Kevin Scheibenberg with the Teen Audio Homes Real Estate Group. And in this video, I want to talk about some pros and some cons about living in Kamloops. So if you're thinking about relocating, make sure you reach out to somebody from our team because we're happy to help. If you look in the description below, there's a link for you to reach out to us and book an appointment or give us a call at this number here or drop us an email and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Let's get into the video. Pushing on my chest and it's squeeze till I suffocate. Better change my mindset, meditate. It's pretty cool that I'm alive and have better days. I could walk, see, here, I should celebrate, think I could change my mind. Okay, pro number one is the weather. It's absolutely amazing here. It might not look that sunny right now. We get over 2,000 hours of sun annually, which makes it a great destination for all four seasons. If you love the heat in the summertime and you want it to be nice and dry, you're gonna absolutely love it out here. And the one thing that I really enjoy is that in the fall, spring, and when it's not super hot, it's not gray and cloudy and rainy all day long. It's really sunny. And if it's chilly out a bit with the wind, you just throw on a fall coat and you're good to go and get outside. Because the weather is so great and it's nice and sunny, there's tons of places for you to get outdoors with the family. If you wanna head out to one of the many lakes that are around the area and go do some fishing, well, you got that here. If you want to go boating or go water skiing or tubing, that's great. There's tons of hiking trails, there's tons of biking trails, you can do some rock climbing. So if you like to be outdoors and you don't want to be wet all the time, you're going to love it here too. Which brings me to my pro number two, the outdoor activities. Because the weather is so nice all year round, there's always something to do outside. If you like to go hiking, or if you like to go biking, if you want to go water skiing or tubing or just go float around on the pontoon boat, if you want to go fishing, you can do all of that. And then when it's the cooler months or in the winter time, if you like to go skiing or snowboarding, Sun Peak's a short drive away. Uh, if you want to go ice fishing, it's great outside. Sun's beaming down, you can get on that ice, drill your hole and catch some fish. There's really something to do all year round. It's a great place to be able to get outside and stay active. Pro number three is the location. We're known as the tournament capital of Canada. So there's always people coming and going and there's tons of activities going on. It's a short drive to Vancouver, about four hours, short drive up to Whistler and Blackcomb. You wanna head the other way and go up to the Okanagan and do some wine tours. It's not that far of a drive. So really, the location is great. We're kind of right in the middle. If you're gonna be here and enjoy it, and if you wanna head somewhere, you're not spending, you know, eight, 10, 12 hours for that drive. And my pro number four about living in Kamloops is your school options. There's approximately 51 schools in the Kamloops area. There's schools like the Kamloops School of Arts, there's the Burt Edwards Science and Technology, there's Thompson Rivers University, there's French Immersion Schools, uh, there's Montessori, there is Christian schools and private schools. There's really something for everybody. We've got great elementary schools, and if your child has ASD, there's a fantastic support service out here, and there's also great options if you wanna be a homeschooler. So really, there's something for you. Just make sure that when you come here, if there's a certain school you want, that you're trying to find a home in that correct catchment area. And my pro number five about living in Kamloops is your neighborhood up. There's so many neighborhoods in Kamloops for you to choose from that really, you should be able to find something. You know, there's great places like Barnhartville and Dallas and Juniper Ridge and Dufferin and Aberdeen and Sahali, uh, Upper Sahali, Lower Sahali. You've got the North Shore, you've got Brock, you've got West Side, you've got Rayleigh. So really there's a place for everybody. If you wanna have some property with some horses, you have that option. If you wanna be you know, a short drive to town, not right in the city, you've got that option there. There's great locations, you know, downtown where you can walk everywhere. There's some fantastic locations where you, know, you can sit on your deck and have panoramic views of downtown Kamloops. So really, there is definitely a spot for you to find, come out here and make it home. Core number six about living in the Kamloops area is golfing. If you are an avid golfer with 2,000 hours of sun annually, there's lots of time to get you out on the courses. You've got some great options. I'll list off a few, but there's definitely more that you can check out. You've got the Eagle Point, you've got River Shore, you've got Camus Golf and Country Club, you've got Big Horn, uh, you've got the Dunes, you've got World Class Tobiano, you've got Pine Ridge. So there's definitely something for every experience level. If you love to golf, this may be the location for you. Hey, while you're watching the video, I hope you're getting some value from this. Uh, if you are interested in relocating, or you know somebody who is, make sure you give somebody from our office a call or click on that link in the description below to book an appointment because we're happy to help. Okay, now let's get into some of the cons. So I guess, you know, one of the cons about living out here is that if you're moving from an area where you can hop online and get that instant gratification, click on Amazon and you get that delivery the same day or the next day, it's not as quick out here. You still get it within 
you know, three to 10 days, depending on where you're living in the area. Uh, so you're not gonna get that instant gratification. And if you like shopping at big stores, kind of like Ikea, or if you wanna, you know, shop at Cabela's, we don't have those ones here either. But we do have a Home Depot, we've got a Princess Auto, we've got a PV Mart, we've got the Home Hardware, the Rona. So, you know, we've got the Brick. We do have a bunch of stores that are out here. But the bigger ones like Ikea and Cabela's, we don't have those ones here. Okay, my con number two would be transportation. I really feel like the transportation is lacking in Kamloops. Uh, you know, if you don't have a vehicle and you want to get around, you do have the bus system, but there isn't, you know, an Uber or ride share in town. And it's really not the best for walking from one side of town to the other because we are quite hilly. Uh, so, you know, if you don't have a vehicle and you do need to walk places, make sure that when you come to town, you get in a location, you know, where it's not, you know, all the way across town for you because you might find that a little inconvenient for you. And my con number three about living in the Kamloops area would be black widows, rattlesnakes, and termites. Um, rattlesnakes, you know, I've never personally seen one out, out in nature since I've lived here. I've seen them at the Wildlife Center, but if you are adventurous and you want to get up there and hike some of those mountains and do some mountain biking, I just stay on the path. You know, they're not out looking to bite you. Usually they're out basking in the sun and the only time they would strike is if you startle them. And then black widows, I've seen a ton of those. They're very docile. They're not looking to bite you also. They like to stay out, you know, undisturbed locations, usually under wood piles. Uh, they also, you know, sometimes they get brought inside the house if you're bringing in wood uh, or if they're looking to get warm, but they're very easy to notice. They got a nice big black back and a diamond shape on their belly. So just be aware that we do have those here. And then termites, if you're looking to buy a home in the area, just make sure that you get a home inspection done and you get them to look for you know, any signs of termites. The home inspectors in the area are fantastic and they'll be able to let you know if you should get you know, a further uh, inspection done just to make sure that your home doesn't have any termites. Uh, con number four about living in the Camelos area would be your rental options. If you're a family looking to rent a house or you know, a single student looking to rent a place, sometimes those options can be hard to find and the prices are getting you know, quite high out here for rental opportunities. So if you're thinking that you're just gonna move out here and soak up the sun and rent a property, well, you might wanna think twice and just do some research before you do that. Uh, you can always look online. You know, Kijiji is a great place to find some rentals and same with Facebook Marketplace. But you know, if that's your plan is to come out here, well, you might want to just double check before you, you know, pack up your stuff and move out here because you might have a hard time finding a place. And con number five, we're going to wrap it up here, would be doctors. Uh, if having a family doctor is really important to you, uh, make sure that you do your research before you make a move out here. We've been here, we've currently had four family doctors and we're actually looking for our fifth because they seem to come and they go. So it is quite hard to find one. I think that's everywhere in British Columbia right now, but I just hate for you to, you know, move out here thinking you're going to have a family doctor and then you can't find one. Uh, some of my clients have actually kept their family doctors where they've moved from and so when they really need something important they make that three and a half four hour drive they head back there see the doctor get what they need and they come back another option might be to ask your doctor see if they can refer you to somebody and just make sure you can get in you know before you make that move and you think that you're just going to pick one up you know really quick uh, if you're thinking about making a move to the Kamloops area or you know you know somebody who is you just want some more information you know give me a call numbers at the bottom of the screen or there's a link in the description book an appointment with somebody from the team, we'll reach out to you ASAP. And if you'd like to see any more videos, or you want me to make some videos about the Kamloops area, just drop some comments in the section below. Until then, we'll see you next time.